Duchess Sophie is fast becoming one of the most important and hardest working members of the royal family, a royal commentator has said. The Duchess of Edinburgh has been extremely busy with royal engagements recently and even missed King Charles' lavish birthday bash at Clarence House on Tuesday. Former Mail on Sunday journalist and royal family expert Kate Manzi said that while Sophie's work doesn't always attract huge publicity, it's of huge value. She added that King Charles' slimmed-down royal family is starting to look thinly spread after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit their royal duties for a new life in America. Earlier this month, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, who were branded under the Radar Royals, had a full schedule undertaking important engagements. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family Sophie visited Canada for five days where she is Colonel-in-Chief of the Lincoln and Welland Regiment and patron of two Toronto hospitals, while in October the Duchess visited Ethiopia. Meanwhile, Prince Edward visited Turkey and Bahrain. But whilst the royal couple's schedule is packed full of engagements, Manzi said, it's other members of the royal family who dominate the nation's Instagram feeds. The royal commentator went on to add that Sophie's importance in the royal family was underlined in June when she joined Prince William to meet global conservation leaders at a private screening of Rhino Man. The Cullen Express premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial, she said. Such a close connection with the heir to the throne, and an equally warm friendship with his wife the Princess of Wales, will no doubt be crucial in the coming years. And she stated that while Prince William and Prince Kate are still young, they still have their children to raise, whereas Sophie and Edward still have plenty of spare time on their hands. Thank goodness, then, for Edward and Sophie, who share much of the royal burden, often the less glamorous bits, she added.